Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't remember it properly. No, they say this is right there. Subscribe, please. YouTube, I'm coming to you live with the Wuthering Waves Developers Message Volume 3, version 1.1 preview. Apparently, the devs have listened. So let's check it out and make sure they have. We are looking forward to some good good. <clears throat> Dear Rover, to give you a sneak peek into what we have in store for you in future updates, we'll share the latest adjustments we're making to the game via developer's message before each new version's launch. We'll also use these messages to address common issues with the current version and share details on related optimization and adjustments. What in ways version 1.1 saw of Eons is right around the corner. Here's what to expect in the new version. Lovely. The ecosystem. New tuner synthesis feature. Let's go! I kept saying this is gonna... Well, maybe I didn't keep saying, but I said they have to do that at some point because purple echoes serve no purposes whatsoever. To address the issue of lower grade tuners piling up in your backpack during the late game, we'll be introducing the tuner synthesis feature in the version 1.1 update. With this feature, we'll be able to synthesize a certain number of medium advanced tuners into a higher grade tuner using the synthesizer. That is awesome. Increase Union XP reward for unlocking new echo entries. To the leveling experience, and unlock the late game content earlier for all players, we have introduced Union XP reward for unlocking new entries of Echoes of version 1.1. Additionally, we will res retrospectively reward the Union XP for the number of Echoes entries you have unlocked during version 1.0 after the update. The compensation will be distributed via in-game mail. Make sure to check your mail and claim the reward in time. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of XP. <clears throat> Three, higher cost range for Echoes rewarded for activity points. Ooh. We've heard your feedback about the high variability in the cost range of Echo rewarded by gaining required activity points in Guidebook. To improve your experience, we have removed cost 1 Echoes from the activity point reward pool. Now only cost 3, cost 4 Echoes will be rewarded as for activity points. So this is the dailies, essentially. Essentially, from the dailies, they're removing the cost 1 Echoes as a potential reward. After the version 1.1 update, once you accumulate 100 activity points by completing the guide boot task, you will receive a random echo of cost 3 or cost 4 quality. Yeah, this is good because we don't care about receiving a cost 1 echo after doing all of your dailies, that kind of stuff. So this is good. The data bank level cap raised. After the version 1.1 update, the level cap for the data bank will be raised to level 21. After reaching level 21, all echoes drop will be guaranteed to be a 5 star rarity. Yeah, essentially, uh, instead of having 80% to 20% gold to purple ratio, you'll have only 5-star rarity, uh, which is good. Okay, so essentially, um, th this makes the, the whole system way better. Uh, what do we have here? New fun in Mount Firmament Echo Transformation. Get ready for some fun in select areas of Mount Firmament. You can then transform into Echo Clang Bang to explore the area. Stay tuned for more creative Echo puzzles and challenges in future updates. Look at this little Echo just walking around. It's not the rock echo, it's just his eyes instead. The area looks beautiful. Holy crap, look at those red mountains with uh, snowy peaks. I like that a lot. Okay. Other optimization. Remove tacit field reward collection animation. This is just makes the farming faster. You may now collect the reward directly. And lower the shell credit cost for echo leveling, which is awesome. Simplify the cruise wing challenge. We have slowed down the flying speed of the cruise wing and extended the time limit to make the challenge more manageable. Okay, this is this is fine um the one thing that has me a little bit confused here is that they are not talking about us getting more tuners and uh, more echo xp out of the tacit field which is a bit scary uh i know we're getting an event but they previously said that for 1.1, they were going to increase the amount yielded. They said so. The event is just a temporary measure. They said, white on black, the amount of resources yielded for tacit field will be increased in 1.1. So this is a bit scary in my opinion that we're not getting that because right now, the amount we receive, even at unit level 50, is pretty bad. You get like 
20 echo tuners or 15 is like five more than when you are at um, Yun level 40, which is nothing. And um, the amount of XP you get is pretty bad as well. Um, okay. So, event and other rewards. A new depth of elusive realm content dreams ablaze in darkness with raised event reward. In version 1.1, we will be introducing a new depth of elusive realm event called dreams ablaze in darkness along with new mechanics such as tokens, symphony rank, and different mimetic tuning available for you to create your own powerful build. Furthermore, the total event rewards will increase to a thousand asteroids, which is uh, like, uh, I don't know, like seven or eight pools. The new area exploration events, Mount Firmament Area Events. To help everyone better experience the new Mount Firmament Area, we've prepared two exclusive area events for you. The area exploration event, Tales from Mount Firmament, and the photo collection event, Traces of Mount Firmament. Complete these events to earn up to 800 asteroids, premium resonance potion, premium seal tubes, and more. Um, okay. Increase Convin item version exchange limit in the item exchange oscillated coral store. As of version 1.1, you may redeem up to 7 of each of the following convenient items written Tides, Fordering Tide, and Luster's Tide in each installment of the store. Uh, this is good because the reset is per patch and not per month. So instead of having a essentially 18 per patch, we are now getting 21 per patch, which is a bit better. A preview of other special events. Besides the optimization and tweaks mentioned above, version 1.1 is also bringing a bunch of other cool events your way. The 7 daily day login events, Gift of Sales to Light, the featured commission event, Lolo Campaign, the featured combat event, Tactical Simulacra, the leveling material double drop event, After Sound Abundance, the Echo double drop event, Court Cleansing, and so on. Stay tuned for official announcement for more event details. That's fine. Uh, the new Mount Firmament layered map. Due to the complexity of version 1.1's new map, Mount Firmament, we've added the layered map feature to the area to help you better explore it. You can switch between different layers on the map for more detailed exploration guidance. That's good. Due to the volume of work involved in creating a layered map for all areas, the layered map for other areas in Jinjo will be released in future updates. So we're not getting the layered map in 1.1, but we'll be getting it in the future. New Area Quest Progress. After the version 1.1 update, you'll be able to track your progress exploration quest for the current area via map exploration progress. That's good. Uh, expanded detection range for loot mapper, that's great. To make it easier for player to track and find undiscovered supply chests nearby on the map, with expanded detection range of loot mapper after the version 1.1 update, you can use and deploy the loot mapper through utility wheel to search for nearby supply chest. as good quality of life. Quest and gallery system, new resonator gallery feature. After the version 1.1 update, you can check all the resonators you have unlocked in their unlock time in gallery crossing star, that's good. Uh, new story dialogue gallery feature. After the version 1.1 update, you can check all dialogue and completed main quest and companion story in gallery main story. This is awesome because that means that, especially for people who are very into lore, they can go back and have absolutely everything. So you don't need to just like screenshot everything. Level requirement lowered for some main quest. To unlock the late game content early for all players, we'll lower the level requirement for some main quests after the version 1.1 update. The requirement to unlock main quest chapter 1, act 4, Clashing Blades, will be lowered from Union level 14 to Union level 11. Main quest chapter 1, act 5, and act 6 will become available once the preceding chapter's quests are completed. More number and types of guidebook activity point quests. We've heard your feedback of the limited ways to earn guidebook activity points, so with the version 1.1 update, we'll increase the variety of number of daily activity point tasks. We hope this changes and make the quest more enjoyable for you. Great. Okay, other optimization. New combat style tags. With the version 1.1 update, we're introducing combat style tags to categorize the combat mechanics of different resonators. We hope this will help you better understand each resonator core combat style. Uh, this is just a way to quickly understand, like, what units can do, uh, it's fine. A new chat system style. Uh, to make the chat system easier to use during gunplay, the chat will be displayed at a half screen height after the version 1.1 update. Okay. Uh, controller mode interaction optimization. Uh, new camera adjustment setting for the controller mode. Uh, you can now invert the horizontal and vertical camera control into settings. Change the controller mode shortcut key. Open chat is now open map. Enable key remapping for certain buttons on Sony PlayStation controller, making it consistent with the remapping option available for Xbox controller. If you have any feedback, give it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the lack of information regarding the increase of um, of tacit field uh, resources yielded. Okay, so I might have found the original post. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't remember it properly. No, they say this is right there. From version 1.1 forward, the yield of echoes and echo development material will be increased. They just said that. And that's on top of the court cleansing events. 
So this is right there, but they haven't talked about it whatsoever in this new post. I'm not crazy. Now they just talked about the synthesis feature, uh, more union XP from unlocking echo entries, uh, getting higher cost range for echoes when you do your dailies, data bank level cap, and using your echo, uh, no animation, and it costs less to level up your echo. They haven't talked about uh, the thingy. So that's a little bit worrisome. That is a little bit worrisome. Uh, maybe they just don't mention something they already said in the previous blog. Yeah, but they mention other things that they've previously said in the previous blog. So, like, see? Remove the reward cutscene. Uh, reduce the cost of shell credits. They've mentioned all of those here. So, yeah, I don't know. So they've listened. Uh, it seems like they have listened. I'm a little bit worried by the exclusion of uh, information regarding the increase of the the yielded um, rewards from Tacit Field. Hopefully, that still comes into play. Uh, but right now, I'm um, slightly worried because this is really like maybe you you guys are not there yet, uh, but you will get there eventually when all you have to do is literally just farm for your echoes. And uh, you'll realize how hard you are gated by the amount of Echo XP and tuners you're getting. Uh, it's, it's a bit rough. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, this is not me just doom posting. Um, hopefully we do get some information about that. I just find it a bit weird that it's missing, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's stay tuned and uh, hopefully we get more information. Okay, well, uh, let me know what you think about all those changes. Let me know what you think is the, what you're most excited for, for 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, drop a comment about all of this. Like, subscribe, all the good good. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!